tonight from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's week four of the NFL preseason on EA Sports. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Denver Broncos and the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Cardinal team as they get ready here. Things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand. Will Lutz. To get this party started, the NFC's Pro Bowl kicker a year ago, Will Lutz. And off we go on EA Sports. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their quarterback who's in his 17th season now in the NFL, an eight-time Pro Bowler to boot. It's Phillip Rivers. One way you become the all-time leading passer for your team is pure talent, and Phillip Rivers has plenty of that. But there's also dedication to your craft and the willingness to get better all the time. Phillip Rivers... And the Broncos get there and take him down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync. Otherwise, your quarterback gets hit. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Another try after the first down sack. Rivers. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Third and six. From the gun, Rivers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback in his seventh season now from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. And when Jimmy Garoppolo came out of Eastern Illinois, many people saw a strong-armed guy, well-schooled in the passing game, who needed a little bit of time to develop and reach his potential. Starting to go in that direction right now. A former linebacker in high school. He plays the game with a lot of toughness. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Brings up second. Now a run with Dylan. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Taken down at the 41. A gain of five. And the Broncos first down. Now the first carry for Bryce Love. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. Four yards on the pickup. On second down, Dillon. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And finding Keelan Cole. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. 
Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condemned. And now Garoppolo lost the football, and the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. No coach or team's ever happy when someone has a turnover, but if there's ever a good time to do it, preseason. <laughs> yeah, right now. You know that to come regular season, he's going to be ready to go, and maybe he'll remember, yeah, I don't want to do this when it comes time for the games to count. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves job that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's the first carry of the game for Cam Akers. And he'll get three down at the 34-yard line. He was taken down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go play action. Rivers into a double team, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. Let's hope it's not anything that'll keep him out of the opener. We'll be right back. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Brings up second and three at the 44-yard line. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Denver. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. And he's got this down to the 35. 11 more on that one and another first down. First down. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. John Brown, 35 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. lining up for the point after. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown the will count. Good. Lutz with the extra the point. Score. And that makes the score 7 0. Nothing. 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 
After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Phillip Rivers now gears up to take the offense back out there. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. Akers hit. He coughs it up. It's picked up by the Broncos. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Dylan. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And that'll set them back five. Full start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he will find his man on the outside. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here after one seven nothing on EA Sports in danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven the first thrown out for the backup Keenum Oh, Keenum has it knocked away. It's loose. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. You know, if this is the regular season partner, we'd be talking about just how costly a mistake that was. But probably good for him to get it out of his system right now. Just hope for him and the team it's not a sign of things to come. Yeah, without a doubt. Plus, you got to worry about making the team. Those types of errors don't help you. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Good. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. So after the defense gets you the ball on a takeaway and a fumble recovery of their own, you've got to reward them, don't you? You've got to stay out on the field, give them a chance to rest, and how about doing it the way they did it, running the football and picking it up on third down. They would not have wanted to go three and out. They avoid that right there. Yeah, they avoided the glares as they went back to the bench, didn't they? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Got a man open, it's K.J. Hill. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. 
Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And Fournette trying to power his way forward, but I don't think he got there. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. Yes, it's the first half, but we'll see if that stuff there on third and one comes back to haunt him. I hope you don't mind, but it's not going to stop me from putting a check mark next to this play let's look back as this game progresses and see if this is one of the key plays in the game even though it occurred early here's jk scott now as he'll punt it away for the second time 46 on his first kick this one in that neighborhood as well and he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Samaj P. Ryan on the offense heading back out there. And he's had his chances in this game. He just hasn't been able to find any daylight so far. Patience, patience, patience. And that's the hard part for a runner because they expect every run to be a big one for something to pop. So they have to sometimes go through the struggles before it happens for them later in the game. But he got to give credit to the rest of the team. They've worked around the fact that he hasn't had his normal big game. Yeah, despite his struggle, still winning here in the second quarter. Second and ten. Here's P. Ryan. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Now it's the backup, Keenum. He may try and run for this. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Pick up on the play. First down, Broncos. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. It's now second and 10 at the 30-yard line. Back to the air. Keenum on second down. Throw left side complete. It's James. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And it's third down. From the gun, here's Keenum. Gets this into the hands of Samaj P. Ryan. And he goes out right around the 39. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Leonard Fournette making his way back out there. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement down on the scoreboard. Maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Winning games to me means starting with the running game and continuing to press the running game. Maybe you go away from him a little bit now, but the bottom line is he hasn't touched it enough to make a difference. They haven't established that running game yet. The question is, will they? It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. From the 29, Mariota. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. A gain of three. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Working out of the gun, Mariota. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Arizona. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at the 20. And eight-yard return there after a punt of 47. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs.
Now a first down throw. Keenum. He finds an opening past the 40. Man open. That's Jaleel Scott. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. First play of the drive. A success. 19 yards. First Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now a throw here hauled in. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A gain of six there on first. Second and four at the 47-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Working from the gun, Keenum. Eluding the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Keenum now on first down. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Brings up second and two at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. To throw again on second down. Keenum, they'll roll him out right. And he's going to keep it here. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. And the Broncos' first down. timeout signaled for and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime so even though it's first down here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime on the right hash it's a 43 yard attempt and Lutz puts this one through and the lead moves to 10 zip Broncos 10 Cardinals nothing So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we are halfway through here in the final week of the preseason. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. One more half of preseason football to go. And then all eyes will look ahead to one week from tonight, the annual NFL kickoff game. And that promises to be a dandy. In our game, the starters are long gone. But still some intrigue to see guys trying to make a late roster push as we get you back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offense... And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. Corey Peters slipping in and getting the sack. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Get the two. Get the one. Get the one. 
Another try after the first down sack. Keenum. Oh, Keenum has it knocked away. It's loose. And the Cardinals have got it going the other way. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot, and that time he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get to the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. Mariota now after the fumble recovery. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And there's Vic Beasley. Always tough to block as he gets in to bring him down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest ones, maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. Clean, but in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. So second and long and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota, open man is Hill. He's got it. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That's good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. From the gun, Mariota. That is caught at the 7-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Complete five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Five. Brings up second and five. Throwing. Mariota. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. First and goal at the one-yard line. They'll try to punch it in with Fournette. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. And it wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness made up his mind and about the power to finish the play not only did he get good blocking he created his own space as well now Adam Vinatieri for the point after and they're back within a field goal it's 10 at 7 now the drive summary that time five plays and the man who finished it off with a run into the end zone Leonard Fournette Just a three-point game now as they send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. Now, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So, in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. The ex-Iowa Hawkeye, Mike Daniels, in for the sack. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Now P. Ryan. 
They'll get a couple yards back, but not more than that. They'll be left with 12 yards to go on third down. A two-yard gain on the play. From the gun, it's Keenum. Dancing to his left. Oh, Keenum has it knocked away. It's loose. And the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. Trying to get the run game going. This is Fournette. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Brings up second and eight at the 34 yard line. Here's Mariota. Open man Hamler. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Mariota now to throw on first down. Now he'll pull it down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Leonard Fournette. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Brought some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Fournette. And this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter. No time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. All level now and 10 apiece as the kick's away. So it's an old school extra point that counts three times. So it's certainly a disappointment they weren't able to get it in the end zone. Yeah, I can just imagine post game, head coach looking at the box score, 19 yard field goal, grimacing a little bit, but having to realize that at that moment, getting three points was vital. Go ahead and get the points, put them on the board. Now a carry for P. Ryan. They had a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. A gain of three, second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Out of the gun, Keenum. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Keenum's pass. That throw good for only a couple, it brings up third down. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. The Broncos on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. A shotgun snap for Keenum. Hits his running back, Piran. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. So, signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. 
Shotgun snap for Keenum. Escaping the pressure, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A loss of two yards. It's second down. And not a blitzer, but still able to get there from a strong safety position. Yeah, I think that was a great example of what they call football IQ. Recognizing he was open, had a chance, and went ahead and got to the quarterback. Sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. They'll run it here with Piran. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. Throwing his Keenum on third down. And this is going to be intercepted. Christian Fulton, the rookie, picks it. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. The football going back over to Arizona now. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. The line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. And looking to throw on second down. Mariota, that one complete to Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. First down throw for Mariota. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. That catch good for only a couple. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Two yards on the pickup. It's second. Mariota again. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they'll be faced with a third in inches. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. The Cardinals on third down, just one for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. K.J. Hamler, the intended receiver. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice, consistent game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll throw again. Mariota. On the move to his left. He'll, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Well, the defensive coverage was good. So good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. They yeah, often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that. And he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Vinatieri now to tack on the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That time, a six-play drive, and it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away.
And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Broncos take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Keenum going to lead the Broncos up now first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down, Broncos. Now it's Keenum setting up the screen to Pirine. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Complete. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second to throw is Keenum. Rolling to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. First down, Denver. They'll fake the handoff. Now Keenum. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 42-yard line. A gain of nine brings up second and one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Samaj P. Ryan, the ball carrier. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. And now they'll throw with Keenum. Little short pass to James. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Nothing open downfield. They went underneath. And yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if he can make someone miss in the open field. Intended for Samaje Piran. It's second down and down. Now Keenum steps away. He'll run it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Four. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Corey Peters in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off down near the 5. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This is Fournette. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he's got it across the 50 to the 47-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And they will take a knee here. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And they take a knee. 
Well, partner, it's just preseason, but it always feels good to be in victory formation, taking the knee for the W. Yeah, I've often thought to myself when I watch these preseason games, some teams need the wins more than others. You know, if you're established and you're used to winning, not quite the same, but if you're trying to learn how to win, it's important to get it done and to be able to kneel down at the end, even better. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.